in today. Uh, we are having a few internet issues, but hopefully we'll be able to get through this uh, this morning. But wonderful to be with you. A couple of quick announcements. Tonight at uh, 5.20, our video for our Wednesday night service will be up and then we will be doing a uh, watch party at 5.30. And so we invite you to join us for that for our last Wednesday evening service with Hold an Evening Prayer and with our final drama. So hope you can come and join us on the watch party for that. And then also, like I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to be starting an online uh, book study. Uh, we're going to be looking, we're going to be reading The Shack. And so if you're interested in doing that, uh, please message me and let me know so that I can get everybody invited in on a Zoom call so that we can do that starting a week from tomorrow. And so we'll be getting up with that soon. So those are two quick announcements. Uh, why don't we open with a word of prayer? And this one that comes from the Book of Common Prayer today. This is another day, O oh Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. And if I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. All right, so today, um, as I have been reflecting on the week and everything else that is going on, um, I decided what I wanted to focus on was grace, that, that gift of grace that we are given by God. And I'll explain... <coughs> Uh, why I wanted to do that in just a moment. So, But our reading for today is going to come from the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. So Ephesians 4, 7 is what we're going to look at today. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Now, I've been thinking about grace um, because it encompasses so much. Grace is about uh, life. Grace is about forgiveness. Grace is about the gifts that God gives to us, especially when we're going through difficult times. And I was thinking about that because Right now in our house, we have my wife working from home, I'm working from home, and both of our daughters are uh, doing distance learning for their school. And so there's a lot going on. Um, we overwhelm the internet sometimes with everything we are trying to do. And every once in a while, since we are spending so much time together, we get on each other's nerves. Uh, it's not uncommon for that to happen when people are locked into the same place, when we are staying here and seeing the same three other faces day in, day out. Um, every once in a while, we get rubbed a little raw. And sometimes we might even say something that might hurt the other person. And obviously, we don't mean to hurt those who we love and those who we are with, but sometimes it happens. And so then we need to be able to share forgiveness. We need to be able to re repent of what we've said. We need to be able to share grace. And the beauty of grace, as it says in our reading, according to the measure of Christ's gift. It is Christ who gives us this grace. It's Christ who gives us this ability to forgive and to be forgiven, to love, to inspire others, and to be with them even when we're struggling during these times. Now, I know also other things are playing into it. It's not just all of us being in one place at one time, but it, it is also uh, how we are dealing with these massive changes in our own worlds, how we're dealing with the fear 
that is coming from this pandemic, how we are dealing with our loneliness, how we are dealing with our isolation. Uh, all of these different things, uh, they weigh upon us. They add stress to our lives, and that's why we sometimes really don't act the way that we want to act. And then we hear this message. But each of us was given grace. We are given grace. We are given love. We are given forgiveness. And it's all so that we can also share it with others. This is our life of faith in action. Being able to share that grace, that love, and being able to say when we've made a mistake to our loved ones. Being able to say when we really have hurt them or we've gotten a little snippy or something like that. That. Just take a step back and say, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I just really lost it. And that happens sometimes. Uh, but we also then go and we forgive as we've been forgiven. We ask for forgiveness. We turn around. We repent. We change our ways. And we get to embrace the love that God has given to us. And so as you're going through these changes, uh, these changes in our society, these changes in our homes, always remember that you are loved. You're loved by God. You're loved by the church. And even when we make some mistakes, if we get a little snippy, those kinds of things, yes, we do ask for forgiveness. Yes, we do make changes. And yes, we are also forgiven ourselves. And so please keep that in mind as we're going through these changes in our society. And so that's what we're looking at today, uh, a grace and forgiveness and how we love in sometimes these difficult moments. And so uh, one other thing I want to share real quick. Um, earlier today, we're talking about school with my daughter. Uh, I told my daughters, I'll do anything I can to help you with this, anything at all. And so... Um, Earlier today, my da oldest daughter, who is in Spanish, called us downstairs while well, my wife was busy, so I went downstairs. And so she said, well, here's what I need to do. I'm, I'm taking a Spanish class right now, and I need you to be able to um, have these two lines that you will sort of sing that I will teach you, and they're in Spanish. So, a couple things here. I don't speak Spanish, and I don't sing but she asked me to do this, and I said, I will do anything I can to help you. And so she then proceeded to teach me these two short lines in Spanish, and I did a little song type of thing with them, and it was absolutely embarrassing and very funny, but the fact of the matter was, here's where we get to do something that provides laughter and joy in times that are so filled with stress. And so I think that also is a sign of God's grace, being able to bring that humor, being able to bring that joy and that love, uh, even if it is a little bit embarrassing our own side, that's okay, because that's part of being a family, that's part of sharing in the joy that God has given to us. So why don't we join together in our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you again for joining today. It was great to have you here. Uh, like I said, the video will be up at 5.20 this evening, and then we will do a watch party at 5.30. So I look forward to seeing you then. Have a blessed day.